denouncing of the illegal and unjust UN Resolution 1907, each and every one of us conferred the unity and strength of the Eritrean people. In 1952, the Eritrean people were victim of a UN Resolution federating Eritrea with Ethiopia. The United States policy of dominance was the main motive behind this shameful decision. The consequences were fatal as a 30-year-long liberation struggle followed and thousands of lives were lost. Sadly, history is now repeating itself in the 21st century, as once again, the UN Security Council has set aside the point of justice to betray the Eritrean people and threaten our sovereignty. 
Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Imposing sanctions on Eritrea on the basis of unsubstantiated allegation is a shameful act. The whole world should find it highly disturbing that large and powerful nations can abuse their muscles to harass and intimidate a new nation for taking a balanced view that serves the people of the Horn of Africa and achieves long-term peace and stability in the region. The Eritrean youth movement supports African cooperation and African solidarity. And we find it ridiculous to call this shameful resolution an African initiative based only on the servitude of a small number of African nations. Our long and bitter struggle against all odds is a struggle that has passed through generations. Eritrean youth have always played a critical and decisive role throughout our history. We, the current young Eritrean generation, are now, more than ever, aware of our vital role in both building a prosperous Eritrea and challenging the threats to deny the Eritrean people justice. One generation plants the trees and the next enjoys the shade. Eritrean youth of past generations that planted the trees paid a heavy price so that we can enjoy the shade of an independent Eritrea. The past generation that secured our independence is now working on our watch. We, the current young generation, have a vital responsibility and we have to keep in mind history will judge our generation by our actions. As we face yet another injustice by the world body threatening our very own existence, we owe it to ourselves, our people, and more importantly, our martyrs to strongly condemn the illegal and unjust sanction imposed on Eritrea. Just like during our struggle for independence, the collective effort of all Eritreans is vital. We must continue planting trees so that future generations can enjoy the shade of a prosperous Eritrea. The Eritrean Youth Movement wholeheartedly deplores the sanctions passed by the UN Security Council against Eritrea. We will continue to support and work along with our people and our government in its endeavor to achieve peace, stability, and eventual prosperity for our people, the people of Eritrea. Eternal glory to our martyrs, victory to the masses. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. الرايد من كوبي تشيمبي كابي متسيحي انا عرفها الساعه دقرا يستاكم من شنت اللي دنتكم ايه لمن تاني متسيحي لهم معالت البيت ايه ينو كود دوينو ورد ورد يربنت علم سوى سيستو انت نغنت ايه تي ودو برات هاقرات اميركا بشي مودو برات هاقرات وساني مسحلة فهم السماعكي انت انت ناس واساسانا سلاحسو جبنا لنا جم بدر تعبنا لهم كان بدر كرينا بدر تعبنا لهم تحاربنا لهم ين إيمان غير شخص نخون غير شخص نحن نسمع إذا تجيرو دولو سلدين كوبالو كل إيرت راو قاعد بنتوفا نسمع إلي مسئي دولو نحن قرنا من إزبنات ومن الدفاع كنا رئينا المسئي نعلو إذا هو هو كما يعملو المعالي نحن بحاجة تسبوغ دولو بتاع من تسبوغ دولو كل السب دسير دولو كراخيبو عقورو بدو جفي لمسئيو فقريت رايا هاتريو سعيد فايد بهال من لندن ساعة أربعة ما لبقى سام من لندن فهذا ساعة عشرة ولا عشر أتينا جنيب يمكن تسعة باس نقربي إذا قلوا بقد توعيسكم جمس آكم مغنيات نتاية الهمس إنا يوم تاني دي بلو السلام أوصل في الهلا سلد الجنيف من جميع روبا مثل هلا قدام من كل روب سبت هلا نحن برضه مش نقدر نشارك من لندن مطلع نحن ذو السنة ذو السماعة نتايل كان مجمع مرتانا كاري اكشن مجمع مرتانا نتايل مطالبه كل الشعب الاريتري يعني عشان تكون قضيتنا قضية عادلة ودائما نحن نادل من اجل العدالة واعتماد على نفسنا فلازم باي نائنا امام العالم بنهب من بدير نودي عنا وأذا كمان نفسه توتو فجديد يكونين بالنسبة للشعب الإرتري ما زال منا يا إمام المتحدة لقباء أو نا أمريكا حديث دبنا يكونيني فقد منا كمان يعني عدة مظاهرات نودع عنا دب إيروبا لقباء أو دب أي أماكن ثانية فيوم كمان نفسه يعني تمسلهوته ولكن أنما تحت الدولة ودولة قبعنا فحديث يكونيني 
لكن هذه بيقول لي ما زال من اللي عانينا منه لسه لحد الان يعني نعاني منه اللي سكيزو زول لها وهو قلت لك تريو زول لها هذا بها وقت تري من عده اماكن من كل اوروبا بزح لو دو سنين لي تواجهه ست فقد تواجهه اليوم ومن عده اماكن لما تو بزح قبل عشر ساعات 15 ساعه لا يسوق سجنيف ف يعني ابي له فرحه هلا او ابي له مسيرته هلا مثل جو هلا بده يومتين بالمناسبه يعني تلجت ايام تلوج وبرت لكن لجو يومتين يقولون هلا يعني في يعني ساعه دينا ف اي واحد مبسوط هلا وان شاء الله بسلام نتخلص وكل حتى دي العالم دي مدينه العربيه يعني. My name is Abraham Hagos and I came from England. It was very nice. Uh, we had a very well organized uh, uh, trip and we were very happy. We had a good time to break and to sing and to, uh, to do anything we want on the way. Fully Lipsi Hagir Kazalara, to admit Hadat Rufalo, the Arifun Hadat Rufalo, and Omgalat Kalo. Okay, well, um, what it is, we have been suffering for the last. Uh, nearly 12 years now, constantly by the, uh, the pressure that came through the Americans and the British and some Western countries. And this uh, pressure that we are getting was based on lies. There is no uh, any evidence to say that we have done anything that will affect the Horn of Africa. However, the thing is, we have a policy whereby we want to stand on our feet and we want to we don't want to depend on aid and help from the west 
And with this policy, we have created um, a strategy whereby we could stand on our feet in the near future. And this um, strategy that we have has created some uh, foreseen problem among the Westerners because we, we think that they know sooner or later we will stand on our feet. That will be an example for the rest of Africa as well as the world. That will create a bigger problem for them because the rest of Africa has been indirectly ruled by them for the last 50 years. That is the main reason why they wanted to point the finger on us and say that when Eritrea has done this, has done that, which is not true at all. And the United Nations has always been a puppet of the Americans. They have been doing what the Americans told them. They do not want to investigate, and they do, they do not want to see the truth behind um, what is happening in Africa. And that's why we are here now to explain that we are a peaceful nation. And we want to tell the world the truth. All this in the name of sanction, in the name of United Nations, in the name of uh, diplomats, uh, uh, accusations are all lies. So that's why we are here to explain ourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, hello first fully. I've got here to tell you a message that I've been given uh, by Ogaden community, the, the fans of Eritrea and, and the, the, the followers and the role models that you are for us. Uh, firstly, before I go to that message, I want to tell you a little bit about my feeling, how I feel about this event today. It was a very, very amazing day for me. I've never in my entire life attended an event like this from people of my country. I've I made, I made, I made it more than 16 hours of traveling to come to here, but I'm so proud of being this historical day and world, worldwide peace call that it is today. And each one of you should be proud of, and Eritrea should never need down. <laughs> I have a great news to you today as Eritrean people. You have marked a historical day here in Geneva and we will never forget in our entire life as we are Horn of Africa people. I'm very proud of you. It's not only Eritrean problem, this sanction. This sanction, who is injustice, is the problem of all of us as a Horn of African people. And the United Nations must abolish right now. We say Eritrea long life and we hope that the Africa continue this struggle and we will never stop until the United Nations stop this sanction. We will march here in Geneva, we will march in Washington, we will march in UK London, we will march in Germany, Berlin, everywhere. There's only one, one thing I want to say. Somali people are very proud to be with you. And we will share your difficult time and we will never divide. Thank you very much. Howard Nafas. You are a trea. You are a trea. You are a trea. Thank you. Bye bye. I am very pleased to speak to you after this amazing dance and music you had. And I will give you the message, continue, keep on dancing and singing. That is the most important for you. I am very, very pleased, honored to be, to share this unique day with the Eritrean people. Because it is a, a, a day that, that our history has never seen, I am sure. Never is...
Eritrea now is 12 years on the frontier. And the, the world powers think they will make war. Only they defend their country. I know Eritrea since near 50 years. When I began my studies with... with the unique African student in Basel at this time, in 61, when uh, a very famous date for Eritrea, 61, and he became my best friend, Dr. Metanie Melke. Uh, and so I visited Eritrea first time, even in 67, Susan Schwate. I already expressed in Gumbet Kiltesheh, And I repeat it here, it is always true and important. Ab allen bezoch me gedi. Din nab eritra hade me gedi. Hade li bi, hade his bi, lobi kentonali. I want that to you. I want to have us.